Hey guys, how are we today? So, um, I'm sure some of you are wondering, like, who is this person and why should I care about his videos? That's a very good question. I am going to, uh, we're gonna, you're gonna get to know me a little bit. So, uh, so here we go. Favorite color? Blue. What superhero would you want to be and why? I'd, I'd have to go with like Batman or Iron Man um, because their technology is super cool. Continuing on that same note, uh, if, I, if you could have any superpower, what would that power be and why? As dumb as this sounds, the ability to refill anything. Um, okay, hear me out. I know that you're probably doubting that that is even a superpower. But think about this. Uh, are you running low on gas? Do you have no money? Like, do you need more ammo for that gun? Well, if you have the power to refill anything, that is a, that pretty much solves the problem. Yeah, the, the limitations of the power get a little weird. Um, and like what exactly you would use it for is a little odd, but you know, I, uh, <laughs> I guess whatever works, right? Gandalf or Dumbledore? I'm gonna have to go with I'm gonna have to go with Dumbledore. Favorite pizza topping? Um, now this one is a uh, this one is difficult for me because I really really enjoy um, like cheese, and I know that sounds lame, but um, it's like different kinds of cheeses. Like I enjoy. Uh, feta, um, I think blue cheese is really good on pizza, uh, in the right situation. Um, I also like pepperoni, which is not a cheese. Oh. Goat cheese. That stuff is the best. Fifty Shades of Grey or Twilight? In the event of a zombie apocalypse, who would your celebrity ally be, and what would your weapon of choice be? Um, I mean, for my celebrity ally, I, I honestly, uh, I don't know. I guess it would have to be someone in the vein of, like, Matt Damon or Jeremy Renner or, um, or like, Mark Wahlberg. I feel like the, the three of them could easily uh, handle like the zombie apocalypse. As for weapon of choice, um, I guess I'd want something light that is durable, so, or like light enough to carry around, but, um, durable enough to like take out the zombies. Like probably an aluminum baseball bat, um, just because of like all of the, the brain destroying that would be necessary, but also, um, like rounding out like a machete. A machete would run a close second, and a crossbow would definitely be uh, in the running for, I think, the number three position. So if I could carry around all three of those, that would be uh, ideal. Uh, what's your favorite place in the entire world? For entertainment purposes, it would be Disney World. I always have a great time when I'm down there. Um, it always is a great experience. But like just for travel and pure like relaxation, I would have to say San Diego. It's one of the, uh, the most beautiful cities in the country, in my opinion. Um, it's just, it's super, um, like the climate, climate, really? The weather out there is, um, it's so great. It's like 70, 75 and like breezy all the time. Um, and it's right on the coast of California. It's a great, uh, it's a great town to be in. So, um, I guess those would be my two favorite places. Favorite non-Disney film? Uh, Whiplash or 12 Years a Slave, it's like a tie. Favorite Disney movie? Beauty and the Beast. Favorite TV show? New Girl. My favorite musical? Ooh. Uh, well that's like, that's a three-way tie between The Lion King, Next to Normal, and Into the Woods. Um, all three of those hold a very special place in my heart uh, for very different reasons. My favorite book would have to be The Giver or Brave New World. When will Liam Neeson's family stop getting taken? When they learn the true meaning of Christmas. If you could have lunch with anyone, past, present, or fictional, who would it be and what would you talk about? 
I think it'd be really interesting to have lunch with uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Um, I feel like he would have a lot of insight into um, like how to deal with the world uh, as a whole, not just like on the racial spectrum, but um, I feel like he'd have a lot of insight as to like how to deal with life and um, just a lot of really interesting advice. Favorite YouTubers? Um, wow, I have quite a few that I watch on the regular. Um, just the short list being like Colleen Ballinger, Josh Evans, uh, Grace Mamrie and Hannah, Lily, Superwoman, I love her videos, they're great, uh, Connor Franta, and um, Rhett and Link, Rhett and Link are great, Good Mythical Morning, and um, a channel that I stumbled upon um, like a couple weeks ago was um, Andrew Keller, or Real Life Ginger, he is... Um, he, he makes some pretty good videos that I enjoy, and I'll put all of those, um, I'll put links to their channels in the down bar, so it'll, uh, so y'all can just, you know, uh, y'all have probably already subscribed to them, so it's fine, but, um, yeah, you should check out their videos for sure. What is your favorite cephalopod, and why? The cuttlefish, uh, for sure, because, I mean, look at him. Cuttlefish are adorable. Finally, why did you want to start a YouTube channel? I wanted to start a YouTube channel just because I feel like it is a great way to, um, to like have a creative outlet. Also because uh, the YouTube community seems to be really, uh, really awesome. Also, I kind of wanted to uh, share my life experience with you guys to maybe hopefully, um, you know, hopefully we can get something um, mutually out of this. It's not just a one-sided thing. Um, like, hopefully you guys can learn stuff from me, and I can learn stuff from you, and it'll be a really, really, really great, uh, relationship. All right. I think that's all the questions I have for you guys today. So if you liked the video, uh, you should give it a thumbs up and, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm still working on a posting schedule, so as soon as I, uh, figure that out, I will let you guys know. But it'll, it will definitely be um, a video a week until I can figure out a specific posting schedule. I can't give y'all a specific day when these videos will come out. So, um, alright. Hopefully you guys learned a little something about me, and um, I hope to see you guys soon.